So I thought I'd take a moment out of my day to make a video about MMOs because I've been thinking about them and maybe this is the one where I go viral and uh, make millions of dollars, but probably not. So uh, a lot of my friends have been playing New World and New World just let's let's work off the general YouTube thing that you're all idiots. Uh, New World is the latest Amazon MMO, and it seems fun. Uh, I of course I want to play it, and I've been not playing it because I don't particularly like Amazon. I think they're crappy, and so I avoid buying their stuff. And I figure, well, I'll avoid buying the game. And it at first I thought it was open PvP all the time, so that was one reason to avoid it, because that stuff gets me, gets me lathered, gets me hot under the collar, right? So I didn't want to play that, and apparently it's not, like, you could turn it off and on, so who knows, I might play it, I probably will play it, and I was thinking about that, and because my friend linked me some other MMO, and it is like, oh, you could be a battle hamster, and I'm like, oh, I want to play this, and before that I was, like, playing Elyon which I never, which I'm probably not going to play when it comes out even though it's free because uh, I wish I did, I'm glad I didn't buy it because it went free to play before the game even came out. So a bunch of people who pre-ordered it, it's like they get they get free premium subscription or something. It's not, it's not the same value. Like if you buy a game and then all of a sudden it's free they're like, well, we're going to give you $40 of value. It's not, not really the same. It's everyone gets the game for free. You're all pretty much on even footing. And if they gave you $40 of value, it'd be obscene, too. Like, what, are they going to give you a free character? Like, what's $40 of value even mean? So, whatever. Um, so, you know, I kind of, like, hard up for MMO. And I was thinking about why that is. I was talking to my brother about it, and it kind of occurred to me that it's like a, a, a crackhead doesn't care what crack he smokes. And it's like an alcoholic doesn't care whether it's booze or fine wine or beer or even perfume, right? In the same way, a lot of MMO players don't care what they play as long as it's new and popular, right? Because they want that communal experience. I get that because... It's the most enjoyable the games get, you know. They are the most fun with the most people doing the most things. And they are a lot less fun when it's very few people when the world feels dead. Even though a lot of players behave incredibly antisocially, they still want people to fill the world while they solo grind for eight hours that no one for some reason like they don't you don't get the same you get a similar satisfaction but but it's funny because i've been talking about it with my friends because i can't play it so in my vicarious way of experiencing it because i know it would be a negative for me i know i'd be spending way too much time in game and i know everything would fall off i'm trying to work out i'd stop working out right I'm trying to do more work from home stuff, I'd stop doing that. I get distracted. I want to play the game all the time. And that's because MMOs are very good at being addictive. You know, it's much like gotcha games like um, Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact isn't an MMO, but it has a very similar progression where you start off weak, you get more powerful, and you do get more powerful by rolling, by getting new units but also by putting an incredible amount of time into the game and you just grind and grind and you get more powerful and it's very satisfying you know because it is quicker than anything else right if you want to gain muscle or work out or learn a language or any other things uh, build a pizza oven you know they're going to it's going to take Maybe not the pizza them, but generally things take relatively more time than they do in MMOs. And it's that satisfaction, I think, that motivates us to play them. And that's why I avoided it, because I knew I'd get hooked. And I just thought it was kind of funny how, like, you have the Endwalker expansion coming out. You have some WoW expansion, I'm sure. They're always launching those coming out. 
and um, you have a new world, and it seems fine. You know, I wouldn't say it's like a flavor of the month game. I feel like it might go the route of Terra because Amazon Game Studios has really mismanaged a lot of stuff. You know, so I don't know that it's going to last forever. But it's like, I don't think it's a terrible game or whatever. I don't like open PvP. I think it's just fun. I mean, it's fun, obviously, because it's fun to, um, you know, murder someone and send them back to start. It's fun in, like, a sort of spiteful way. I get why people like open PvP. And um, it just pisses me off, though. If I didn't get so angry when I did open PvP, I'd probably have no problem with it. But I get really really mad so I don't do it but I think it, it just was a funny thing to me with this game how people are hopping on it everyone's crazy for New World and um, you know given the history of the studio in particular this game may not last two years and the history with Amazon and Google and all these companies they dump tons of money into these projects and they become obsolescent obsolete very quickly and they're just like oh it's over um you know you can look at the google graveyard and amazon does it with a lot of projects too they dump money into something essentially uh for tax relief and they do make money you know what i mean they do make money but it's like they dump money into this and maybe they give a giant salary to some guy who's been at amazon for a long time or maybe they do some i don't know how I mean, I don't know how they do it, but it's fair to say they're probably screwing someone, right? Someone's money's getting hidden, whatever. This is coming off a little more ranty than I intended. How long? How long has this been going on? Seven minutes. Wow. But it, it, generally, it just, it just, I found it really interesting, you know, to look at this game and want to play it, even though I don't like Amazon, I don't want to buy their products, oh my, you can't, the whole time I've been gesticulating, but my hands are off camera, whoops, um, you know, I don't want to buy their products, it's not high fantasy, which I really like, I like, you know, being like, having like, beast men, and fantastical stuff, and all kinds of stuff, and it's more grounded, which is fine, and I, I really don't have the time for it, but the, the, the desire to play it is there because I know it's gonna activate uh, you know dopamine that's what it's gonna do you're gonna, I'm gonna go there I'm gonna be playing the game I'm gonna be mining and I'm gonna get that hit you know and so it's just funny to me how I don't know if it's right to group all MMO players in with myself because certainly not everyone's like this but a lot of people are really desperate and really hard up for that next great MMO and it's because they had a great time with UO or WoW or EQ or something and they want to recreate that and I think that's not great and I understand it but I, I still don't know if it's great to rush to these games if you have the free time and you're in school or something even though if you're in school you should you know finish your homework and shit right but if you're if you have the free time i don't think it's that harmful i think if you don't have the free time it's incredibly harmful especially with free to play gotcha style things where before you know it um you're spending like $300 a month. But um, it's just really interesting how it works, like how the mind works. I just wanted to just shoot out a video and uh, five people watch it, that's fine. But um, you know, it's just sort of funny how, how much I wanna play this game, even though I really don't. So that's it.